Hi, this is Chris with another Frameforge tip video. We've covered tweening object motion in the past, and you've probably already figured out that tweening actor movement can become a complicated and time-consuming endeavor. We recognize this, and have incorporated functionality into Frameforge that can save you time and frustration by limiting the need to wholly orchestrate complicated full-body movements like walking or running. What this means is that if I snap separate keyframes of an actor on the right and left sides of the set, when I create the tween sequence, Frameforge will automatically create tweens of the actor walking or running for me. Frameforge does this automatically for you, although you can specify walking versus running or even do away with any presumed motion posing altogether if that's what you want. Let's see an example. Exactly like the scenario I described a moment ago, I've snapped two shots of an actor. When I launch the shot manager and select the two shots to use as keyframes, Frameforge will automatically assume that this dynamic object should move under their own source of locomotion, i.e. run or walk. If you're relying on Frameforge to make the decision for you whether the actor object walks or runs, the length of the tween duration is an important consideration. A shorter duration tween sequence will result in the actor running. For example, this sequence was tweened for 2.5 seconds. A longer duration will naturally result in the actor walking versus running. For example, this sequence, tween for 4 seconds, demonstrates the actor walking. If you want more control over actor motion during tween sequences, you can always use the override walks function found in the shot manager. This function spawns a menu, which allows you to specify whether the actor runs, walks, or remains motionless like a static object as it slides across the set. There are also other options for specifying things like, should the actor's head move, should his arm swing, I encourage you to play around with and experiment with these features. I find it to be the best route to becoming an expert at tweening. And if you've created a tween sequence that you're really proud of, please share it with us because we'd love to showcase your work.